Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to Big Rig Frosty Gaming. We are messing around with the Goville DLC pack. And uh, I'm going to go over how to make sugar beet cut bales or into the bale form by using the new DLC. So at the beginning of the uh, video, you noticed the tractor out there removing the tops of the sugar beet, getting rid of the foliage, and then we uh, just unloaded the pull behind sugar beet harvester, which pulls the beets out of the ground. So now we got a load here in our trailer. And we're just gonna live unload it right onto the ground on this field. With that done, we're going to be able to load up the sugar beet with our John Deere. And you're going to need this little guy right here. If you go into your store menu and go under front loader tools, you're going to scroll over about halfway. You're going to come across the Ruby 2000. This is not a mod. This is end game. And what this guy does is it can cut sugar beets to feed them to your biogas plant. But in this case, we just want them to cut the sugar beets. So it's gonna turn the sugar beet into cut sugar beets. Cost about $15,500. And you can see the cutter system inside the bucket there. So we already have it purchased. We have it hooked up to the John Deere. So let's get ourselves uh, a few scoops here. And we're going to load it into the brand new DLC baler, which is only going to be usable if you purchased the Goville uh, DLC pack. If you go into your baler category and scroll all the way to the right, there's your Goville Vario Master V140, or you can do the F115. All that is is less horsepower, 120. This one requires, or wait, weight, my bad. Uh, this one's 14.8 ton. This one is 15.8 ton, and this can make 150 bales. This one can only do 125s. But as you can see in the uh, materials, you can do straw, A, brass, chaff, sugar beet cut, not sugar beet. It has to be cut sugar beet or you can also do forage TMR. So you can't just put these in there. You have to have that implement there, the Ruby attachment there. Once you get lined up over the back of the baler here into the little built-in bunker, you can chop it up. For me, I'm on PC keyboard. I hit B, as in brother. Hit B, and it automatically chops up the sugar beets. And now we have sugar beet cut. See the difference? So we'll get a couple more scoops in there real quick. Actually, we'll load the whole thing up real fast.
that done, we have enough in here. I'll show you how to make some sugar beet cut bales. Fire up our tractor. If you look at our top left screen, you're going to see all the options. We already have it unfolded. You would want to make sure it's unfolded, which it is. And then we are going to activate by turning on the baler. You can also keep an eye on the system. By standing by it, you leave the screen on. It shows you the mount coming from the rear belt into the bale creation area. And once it hits 5,500 liters, it throws out the sugar beet cut bale. And then it's going to wrap it for you. And I have automatic drop set, so it's going to sit, flip it over for us. And we'll hop into our Kubota, which is also a DLC. If you do not own the Kubota, there's also a New Holland skid steer right in the shop to buy. going to get that out of the way. Once we get that out of the way, it's going to work on making another bale as long as you have enough product in there. We do not have enough to make another bale. There's 3,087 liters. You need at least 5,500 to make the 150 size bale. So then you would go load up out in the field and get another load of sugar beets. And that's pretty much it. That's how that works. Uh, that baler machine over there can also do your chaff from the fields. If you're doing corn fields, if you're doing silage for sorghum or whatever crop that you want to forage, you can bring that forage with a trailer back to that baler, dump it in there. Same thing, it's gonna make bales out of it. Straw, if you have a forage wagon and you do a wheat field, barley field, oats, anything that leaves a straw swath, pick it up with a forage wagon, which you can get right from the shop. Forage wagon, any of these will pick up those materials, just like right down here. And then you just back up to the baler, fill it up. That specific baler back there holds 20,000 liters, so you can put a pretty decent load in there. And then it makes bales. It's a nice, easy way to uh, get uh, bales made in the field while you can keep farming do the things you enjoy, such as uh, a nice, lovely sugar beet harvest. Hope the video helped you out. If you have any questions about the DLC, uh, I'm using just base equipment on a base map Elm Creek. If you're having issues on a modded map with mods, that I can't help you with. I'm just simply showing you how it works on farm sim 22 all right hope you enjoyed the video hit that like button and hit subscribe if it's your first time many more tutorials to come in the future thank you